Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this one, we're going to show you how to make uh, .ico files for your uh, Windows 10 uh, desktop. Windows 10 desktop does not let you use uh, like PNG files, uh, you know, that are usually the easiest to work with. Uh, you can only use those if you have programs like Win, uh, Nexus, uh, you know, the doc, or also things like uh, Stardoc or rocket doc those will let you use pngs but windows is kind of limited to icos so what i'm going to do is show you how you can use a program to make those pngs or jpegs and two transparent icons so if you're interested go ahead or uh, click on that link in the description it's going to take you to the gimp website so it's going to look like so you're going to go ahead and click on that and then download the file which is this one right here so download that save that to your uh, computer go ahead and install it once you have that installed, uh, you're all good to go. Now, uh, you know, you can find images on the uh, Google search engine. Uh, you can, you know, type whatever you're looking for and click on the uh, images tab. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that real quick. So, for example, I already have them downloaded, but I'm just going to show you a quick example. So Sonic the Hedgehog. And then what you would do is just click on images and you can find a lot of images here. A lot of the things you're going to find, like I said, are going to be PNGs or JPEGs. And what I'm going to do is show you how to make a transparent icon so you can use Windows. So you can go ahead, you know, choose your image. You can even do a, uh, like if you're playing a game or an emulator, just take a screenshot of that. And then you can, uh, you know, cut and paste whatever you want from that image and make it a that ISO file so we're going to go ahead and open up the program so we got GIMP go ahead and open that up and I have two files already so I'm going to show you the first one I'm going to show you is how to do the JPEG one so I'm going to go to my directory here and pick the JPEG so there we go I'm going to open that so as you can see that's an extremely huge file so that's not something you would use for an icon so we're going to go through the steps here super quick one by one so the first thing you're going to do is make sure you have this tool selected here the fuzzy select tool if it is uh, selected correctly you'll see the wand by the cursor here so they're just going to tap one inside the part that you want to eliminate then you're going to hit delete or actually we need to do an extra step because this is the jpeg so you're going to create another layer so control n you're going to tell it OK. And you want to make sure that it's actually transparent. So do that again. Control N. So you're going to go to Advanced Options. Make sure where it says Fill With. You're going to do Transparency. Click OK. Now you're going to paste the other image into there. So copy that again. Control A, copy. Then we're going to paste it into there. Let's get rid of this one. So now we're in the second image. So now we're going to do what I showed you earlier with the Select tool. So make sure that the fuzzy select tool is chosen. You're going to click inside there, hit delete. And now as you can see, the background is transparent. So the next step is going to be to get rid of the extra space here. So you're going to right click. We're going to go to image and we're going to pick crop to content. And now as you can see, it's selected just around the, uh, you know, the item of the picture that you want. Now we need to resize it. So right click again, image. We're going to go to scale image. And we can make that 128 by 128. We're going to go ahead and click scale. And now, as you can see, now it's, you know, unusable icon size. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead, file, export as. We're going to click on select file type by extension. We're going to scroll down to where it says Microsoft Windows icon. And you want to make sure it's IECO extension. So we're going to click on that, export. And it says there's already an item with that name on title, so that's okay. We're going to go ahead and save that. You want to make sure you pick compressed. That tends to work a little bit better if you change the uh, size of the icons you're viewing on the desktop. So we'll go ahead and export that. And what I'm going to do show you real quick is when you do this, you usually want to just name it. So we'll go again, save as. Oh, I'm sorry, export as right there. We're going to pick the Windows icon here so again export but what we want to do before we do that just name it something so we'll call it sonic test dot iso so we know it's that when we're going to put that to desktop and remember press compressed 
and now that one's done so that's how to do a jpeg a lot of the files you're going to open maybe uh png those are a lot easier because the pngs will already have the transparency built in so let's go ahead and uh open one of the ones i downloaded so as you can see this is a png so we're going to open that one so on this one we can eliminate one of the steps because we're going to go ahead and go like this the same step as earlier the fuzzy tool delete and this time as you can see that step is already created for us because it was already transparent in the background so now we're going to right click we're going to go to image and same thing as earlier crop the content it's already you know cropped right there so now you're going to right click image scale image and we're going to do the 128 by 128 and we're going to scale it and as you can see it changed it for us and then we're going to save copy or actually export because we're doing the ISO and then staying same step as earlier Microsoft Windows icon export compress export and now we are good to go so we should be able to use any of those let me go ahead and get rid of this so we can see my desktop So now, as you can see, this is the one I did earlier, but these are the two that I just did now. These two right here. So Sonic sets, time it up. EMG. So now we can just go ahead and, for example, I'm just going to do this out of the blue to show you. So now those icons are ready to go ahead and be put on something. So you can just go to the properties of it. Go browse. We're going to go to the location where they're at, which in this case is the desktop, and we are going to apply that. And there we go. And as you can see, it's showing you the icon right there. So now when you resize it, if you want to make it large, it should resize without a problem. And as you can see, that's right there. And I believe I had the other one. So we'll assign it to this one here. And as you can see, piece of cake that worked fine. So if you resize it, you shouldn't have any issues with the icons looking different. There we go. So that's how you do that. Uh, so that should be the end of this video right here. So once again, remember the links for the GIMP are on the description section. Go ahead and download that. And that way you can go ahead and start making your own icons for your desktop. So that's it for this video. We'll go ahead and see you guys on the next video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Let your friends know about the channel. And we will see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.